If you're blue, I've got the scale for you. The blue scale is really easy to learn if you've got under your belt the minor pentatonic. So if you have a look up here, I've got the A minor pentatonic, runs from A to A. There are five notes and then the octave, making it the pentatonic. And the two notes from A minor that have been removed are note 2 and note 6. And I'll just pull up an A here. One. So that's my one. One, three, four, five, seven, eight. So that's the A minor pentatonic. All we do to make the A blues scale is add in an extra note right between note 4 and 5 and this here D to E it's only two steps on the clock so there's only actually one note that it can be so we've got note 1 3 4 blue 5 7 8 so we're going to create the blue note now to take our D up one step on the clock, we're going to sharpen it. So those are the notes of our A blues scale now. Change that title now. A blues. A, C, D, D sharp, E, G, A. Now by the way, it makes really no difference whether you think of the blue note as being a sharp version of the 4 or a flat version of the 5. So I could just as correctly call this D sharp here an E flat. The reason I don't when I'm going upwards is just that a flat hangs around for a whole musical bar and so if this was actually a musical bar then to make sure that the player played an E natural here, I would have to write the natural symbol. So we go A, C, D, E flat, E natural, G, A. Whereas if I call it a D sharp, I haven't actually put any accidental that is going to colour this E on the way up. And so it becomes an E natural. It, it doesn't change. It is an E natural. A, C, D, D sharp, E, G, A. But sonically wise, absolutely no different. Call it a sharp 4, call it a flat 5, but either way you've made a blue scale. And by the way, if you like your number patterns, you can learn the blue scale as root 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, root 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 